Hello and welcome to this uh, video lecture. We're going to be viewing this instead of meeting on Friday, October 30th. I'm Larry Marino. I'll be your instructor for this video lecture. But wait a minute, I just remembered I am your instructor, so of course I would be the instructor for the video lecture. Anyway, today I want to talk with you about something that I believe changes the world, changes society more than any other thing in the whole wide world. And it's this thing, anthropologically, we define it this way. We call it a culturally sanctioned union between two or more people and establishes rights and obligations, sex, labor, property, childbearing. It involves kids and in-laws. And of course, I'm talking about marriage. And, you know, I've been really thinking a lot about this lately. I don't think, and you, uh, let's talk about this when we get back together. I don't know if there's anything that has such an effect on our society as marriage. Uh, I'm sort of at the point now where I want to say things like this. If you want to change the world, get married. If you want to change it further, get divorced. Those two things have an enormous impact on everybody. And I'm going to try and demonstrate that today with our little case study that I, that I want to talk about. But I want you to think with me a little bit here about this thing we call marriage. I mean, think about it. Is there anything in the world that becomes more ritualized than marriage? You know, I mean, I've done a lot of them. And I can tell you, people get uh, pretty weird about how the ritual has to go and it better be just right, or of course the marriage is doomed. We know that's not true, but the ritual is an important part of this. Secondly, we know we love to memorialize weddings. We celebrate anniversaries. Uh, you know that I, Linda and I just celebrated 40 years. So, you know, this is a big deal for people, and it seems to be a big deal for society. And the reason I say that is because still today, in 2015, we don't celebrate divorce. Now, you will have remembered, maybe some of you younger ones won't, but 15 or 20 years ago, even, even the church tried to celebrate divorce and say, oh, it's a new beginning for people, and eh, it didn't really catch on because people knew that it's a whitewash, you know. We're not really happy about this divorce. Nobody is. The kids are not really happy about it. And Those of you who've been through divorce or, or if your parents divorced or you know somebody, you know it's, it's never fun. Nobody planned it, and so just from that alone, we can say that, yeah, most people are for, yeah, let's, let's see if people can work things out. We, we prefer to live in a world where people forgive and say, well, okay, you're not perfect, but, uh, you know, there was this old-time actress named Anne Margaret. She was this beautiful redhead, and she, was, she used to make movies with Elvis Presley, and I mean, they were just, I mean, you didn't know which one was more beautiful, and cousin of mine named Donald. Years and years ago, he got married, and Donald wasn't exactly, you know, the type that you thought would ever find anybody who would marry, marry him, but when he finally did get married, I asked him, well, hey, how's your wife? I, I haven't met her. And he said in this very, very uh, straight-ahead, matter-of-fact way, he said, well, Larry, she ain't no Ann Margaret, but then again, I know Elvis Presley. And that's the way we look at marriage, you know, really. I mean, I'm no big winner, and okay, if somebody will have me, that's, that's good. But we like society better when people are married. And I know those of you who are single have felt like the fifth wheel so many times. If you're divorced, or you don't have a guy, you don't have a gal. My 17-year-old granddaughter loves to say that she doesn't like to be seen with me and her grandmother out somewhere, because why? Oh, Grandpa, I look like a loser. Uh, I don't have a boy sitting next to me. Okay, it is what it is. This thing about marriage is, is pretty wild. So let's think about the things that differ, because I want to talk about cross-cultural marriage and marriage here in the West. So marriage here in the West works like this. You find a person, you have romance, and then you get married. And that's a very fine way to get married. Of course, we know that in a lot of other places around the world, ethnic minorities, especially even here in America, say, nah, Probably not the best way to go. Why? Because, very simply, 
These kids are too young. What do they know? They're just going by their feelings. We can't do this. And so in ethnic minorities, you don't see people celebrating this idea of romance and, and dating and all that sort of thing. And of course, as I told you, I come from that kind of a culture. Uh, the other thing that I think ethnic minorities do that's different than we do in the West is this, is that uh, divorce is not so easy. I mean, you got to clear it with great-grandpa on down. 